All right, let's get some banger-ass League of Legends up in well, here. Okay, big contested picks. Nolt, Aphelios, Vaat. Well, okay, Jesus Christ, I give up. I give up. Ari first pick, Sion, Jinx 1, 2. T1 will flex Sion. Genji will go Aphelios. Yeah, no shocker there. Rakan would be good here as well for Delight. He's a really big Rakan player. But then you're running into carry a Nautilus flex. Oh, Nautilus bend, actually. I really like Aphelios here. At Rakan here. They will go Lulu, though. Do you want to play into Lulu or do you want to pick Jungle? Peanuts could pick uh, Lee. In here, they could do Lee Sin, they could do Rakan, they can do Wukong. Uh, I don't really like Wukong that much. Oh, Lulu's bend. What? Lulu's bend. I didn't even see that. Is owner gonna be on his Sejuani duty? Is he on his Sejuani duty, or are they gonna pick uh, any flex? Okay, okay, they've got double flex, not bad. I really think they should ban Gregas, even though if they're playing Silent Top, to be honest, it's really fine. Ben Asante is super high picking both these teams. This will be permaban whole series. These two champs will be permaban whole series, I think. They should. Uh, also ban. Do they ban Rakan? Yeah, Mal Malphite, yeah, Malphite. Full tank stop ban. They could ban Thresh if they are scared of it. They could ban Rakan, they could ban they could ban Sejuani, they could ban Diego with Scion Jinx, they could ban... Uh, I don't think Lee Sin's that good for them. Nidalee, yeah, Nidalee, Nidalee not bad. Actually, don't mind Alessandra ban here either. Because if they do Alessandra, any support and last pick jungle could be pretty good. Tom Kench, yeah, there's Gragas. I think Lissandra ban to cover off mid, just split the bands. They're very rare to split bands, but I think splitting bands here is not bad. T1 could do the bot dive, double three. Suicide bot lane silent, I like that. They do ban Thresh, okay. I think the safe pick here is jungle, obviously. Depending on their mid pick, yeah, Poppy is fine. What does Doran play here? Does he go Orn? They just go Orn Rakan? I, Rakan kind of weak though. They could go Orn Renata. I actually don't mind Orn, Orn Renata here. Orn Renata is pretty good into these champs, I think. Gwen is fine too, but I don't like Doran on Gwen. I don't like Doran on Gwen. And especially double AP. I don't like it. I don't know. Support pick is a bit weird now. If you pick Renata, he could go Blitz any mid. If you pick Rakan, they could play Leona last pick. If you play Tom Kench, they can go Brown. I really like Rakan, though. This champ is super good. I think they should have picked Orin with it, though. Just go Poppy support now with Jinx. No, I'm kidding. You can play any support. You can play Tom. Yeah, you can play Leona. Okay. Kind of weird comps. Interesting comps. All right. I kind of like T1's comp a bit better, but... It all depends on how any functions in it, because none of this is really good engage. Like, the Rakan struggles against this. Rakan is going to be really hard against that. T1 lack damage. Genji have stronger mid game. I don't know, dude. It depends on Doran as well. Like, T1's comp depends on Annie. Genji's comp depends on Doran. LCK is a minor region. Jesus. Yo! Please subscribe. Please, just hold button, click it. Enjoy the video. Big banger inbound. Jinx Aphelios. He thinks he's the best no in the skin any for Faker. I mean, the thing is, Doran is known for getting solo killed by Scions on carry champs. <laughs> so don't get solo killed by Scion. I think he got solo killed by Zeus on Scion. He got solo killed by Keen on Scion, I think. Was it Keen or was it... I don't know. As Gwen? No, as Jace. As Cassante. I don't think he's Faker played much Gwen. He's not played much Gwen. Carrier looking for an entrance ward to give Faker level 2 on the wave. No, they're late invading. Is Sion behind them? No, Sion's not going, is he? Is Sion going? Yeah, he is. Oh, they're three men stacking. They're stacking three camp bots. Oh, they're Genji are matching it, though. But Doran's here. They countered it. They predicted it. They predicted it. Doran doesn't have flash, though. They got double flash out of bots. And Doran can zone them a bit. And as we mentioned, the Doran's gonna lane down here. But what does this achieve? You get bot lane flashes and you have to base now or what? Get info on jungle? He can cover the he can cover the bot dive. He can pull the crux and slow them down. Ah, he's pulling crux to slow them down. Sion can't stunt it. It's yeah, <laughs> Doran's still here, so uh, top, uh, top wave is 50-50. Top wave is complete 50-50. Uh, there's a mini one. It's a, it's a small little lane towards Who's winning front. top wave? It looks As like Zeus see, is winning it. Comes through here. His owner is just clearing you can cover the dive. Can, do they dive this? Does get that shove towards his They're going to dive 4v3? No way. They're going to dive it anyway? Going to try and pick up turret aggro delight. Going to knock him up into the air. And it is going to be first blood. Going over to Pays. A one for one so far. It works. It works. The 4v3. He's almost going to take down the Aphelios. 
Bouncy does fall, and that the is the kill for works. Kurmiyushi once again. T1. Holy fuck, T1 are the crazy. It's a disaster for JNG. The, the cover the didn't work. The oh, the Poppy Flash sealed the deal. If the Lights flashed the Poppy stun, they would win that 2v3 before. I think if the Lights flashed the Poppy Flash, it was done. Really smart, though, by JNG, but yeah, I think Gwen is just useless, isn't it? If they had, like, Gregas or something with CC, they could cook that, but they don't have CC. Watch here, so what Zeus will do, Zeus wants the tank, so he'll hit the Light here. And watch Owner. He hits Owner. Flash stun instant. If he flashed that, I think it was doomed. And then the Scion, bang, bang, bang. Nice. Big, big action already. But bot lane is complete Armageddon. Nothing to do here. Maybe they can get a flash. Nope, they get nothing. Game is fine for Gen G though. It's not the end of the world. Aphelios got a kill. Jungle is a bit behind, but it's not the end of the world. As long as they can cover push outs, Gen G is kind of fine. Not a huge problem. Pop will win. It's really fine. Moving back from Chovy. Null magic first item. He's going Mercs or what? He rushed Mercs last time he played Ari as well. Or was that... Uh, no, that was Faker, I think. Was it Faker, Chovy? No, it was fucking Knight. Owner's doing the same pathing, covering entrance Raptors. It's good. Oh, nice flash by Pace. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Owner just spam ganking bot. Give the kill to Jinx, GG. Ooh, they didn't cover the push out. Where's Peanut? They need to cover these push outs. Faker levels up and just goes for all in to chunk him. Nothing to kill here, but big chunk. No magic actually doing a lot there. A lot of small things here. I mean, Doran knows he has a free lane. Gives him some extra AD. I actually like it. Tier 2 boots doing work for Faker here. Great start. Bot push out. Good stuff. Delight on a ward. They spotted him. Faker after flash, maybe. Whoa, cocky, cocky, cocky Faker. Look at this little cheeky smile. <laughs> he, he broke a cheeky smile there. Nice sidestep. Say was down 20 CS. Yeah, he's gonna fall behind a lot. It's not a final, so Faker dodges it easy. Oh, Chovy CSing. Alright, Guma got his ultra fed. This might just be a Guma runaway. T1 lack damage if Jinx isn't ahead, but yeah, just Jinx is gonna be ahead. Peanut's scared that owner's lane ganking. Nice plate. Carry doesn't get the gold for it. Doran's gonna force topside, because they are winning 3v3 topside. Yeah, but Peanut should be here. It's a 3v3. Bot lane just sprinting here as well. Doran's hitting a lot. But he's gonna get knocked. No, he's gonna die. Oh. Doran overextended that way too hard. Doran overplayed that way too hard. Nice, nice shutdown by T1. They get Herald as well. Oof, this game's looking rough for Gen G. Baker's Annie feels like feels like Chovy's always half HP and there's always like a threat. So Doran actually has to go in. He can't really run away here and drop position. Nice dash here by Doran. Watch, he dashes the Poppy E, but yeah, the auto attack from the Poppy kills him. They need to play for Herald bot. Oh, they're swapping. They're full swapping. I like the swap. It's hard to dive the Scion than it is to dive the Gwen. Full swap. Play for Herald top. Drake's down for two minutes. Jungle camps are being taken away though, which is kind of annoying for Owner. He won't have any camps. TP. Wow, they TP bot to catch the wave as well. That's so good for T1. What Zeus can do now is he can roam mid to top and TP back bot if he wants. He can just Scion ult up if they want to form and dive top. Now Owner has no camps, so he's just going to play Human Ward so his team can step up. Play a little bit risky. He has no flash though, so he has to be careful. Wow, he's actually just taking the pink in their face. Jesus, man. No flash. Poppy is taking my pink and he's getting out oh poppy is so powerful huh are they gonna swap back they want that plate right i mean genji don't know the peanut ba uh, the owner base and owner has all his bot camps up he really needs to get this so maybe they swap back for jungle because jungle needs to stay bot for like a minute oh maybe a kill oh they're rocketing the base can they hit the rocket for the base what pace cancel it by accident he didn't the rocket he would have got it he would have got it off it was 0.1 from fi finishing he would have for sure got it wait they're going mid they're TPing top. Both ways pushed in. Down, Annie will go bot. T1 map movement is good. Really good map movement. Oh man. Herald mid. Oh, I think he should have waited one more wave. Because now the Herald's just awkward. Because Annie could push out and move. Maybe they could get a little bit more. But it's like, it's really minor. Really, really minor. One more plate for Guma. That's really fine. Does that mean they can fight Drake now? Does Genji call for a Drake fight? Aphelios is top though. He doesn't have Mythic. I'm not sure if he has Mythic in base either. Bion's first on the move. Aphelios is far, but T1 haven't started it. Gale Force, he does have it. Is it bugged? Why did it say his ult up? Uh, Genji should fight. Tam can shoot on cooldown. T1 should... I don't know, it's T1, so they might just fight it anyway. Fuck it, they don't care. Faker position is not bad if he can get a good... Yeah, Pace is in a really, really weird spot. He's so fucking zoned away. Oh, the light smurfed it! Owner just... Owner smurfed it back. Big damage! No. 
and Genji have pushed T1 away. Those health bars not looking very healthy. Chovy needs to base and TP now. Round two, on, round two is inbound. Zeus doesn't have TP, but he can ult down. Oda needs to reset. TPs will come back in now. Do they fight this? T1 have to drop, 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 drop. T1 give. Oh, the light smurfed it, but Owner also smurfed it. Owner played it really well. Owner W the Wukong engage and knocked him. Ah, if Owner was if if Peanut was quicker, I think they could have cleaned them there. Proto belt any. Where's Peanut? Why can't Peanut go faster? The light pinks. Oh, he flashed on the end of the Poppy W or what? No, it's still up. How do I? Peanut can't really get in. I think what Peanut needs to do is E Sion and then flash ult. But instead he flash E. He needs to E first and then flash ult. Oh, owner smurfed it. Well, no sums on Jinx. They don't need to herald mid. Should be guaranteed. They can herald the double side lane. T1 are, T1's drafting this tournament is very, very, like, Gumayushi heavy. Their read on the meta is not fast game, not slow game, but just protect game. Just protect everything to protect AD. Karma tops, Lulus, Tom Kenches, Poppies, Scions. Yeah, look at the top situation. Zeus is actually ahead in XP. The Gwen is going to be not very useful this game. She's good into Scion, Poppy, and uh, Tom, but she's a bit behind. They could herald top tier one, but uh, it'll just get one tower. I don't think they need to herald this. Oh, owner is, owner is playing so cocky. Oh my god, a wild carrier has appeared. Jesus. Oh, they can play for two towers here, actually. They could go two towers. All of Genji's bot, but is Zeus diveable? He can just clear waves, though. He also has phase rush on Sion. Phase rush Sion. Oh my god. Big blunder here by Genji. They should not lose this much. But they don't lose it. Okay. They're fine. The phase rush Sion means Gwen can't really do much. Now they rotate mid. T1 macro is good. They won't get a tower, but the threat is good. Zeus doesn't have TP yet, so they have to be careful. They know Wukong's on the bot side, so they hover top. Acre build is kind of crazy, no? Proto belt. He can proto belt for move speed and then flash ult someone. Like fake it to begin with and then just turn. Alright, Rift Maker Gwen. Zeal on Jinx. Yeah, I saw Ruler doing this yesterday as well. He always goes a, a Zeal or a Zeal item before he goes IE or Dominix. Ruler likes his attack speed. The Ari has Everfrost. He's playing Everfrost with Electrocute. They're playing for top tier one here. Zeus is a bit late on the match. He was grouping for vision. Drake in 20. They might get a top tier one here, Genji. So Zeus a bit late. Yeah, they'll definitely get a top tier one, I think. Now Doran can get the next wave in. Be ready with TP. Doran ideally would like to base in TP, I think. Oh, how did the light get there? Wait, 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 wait. how is the light? Did they see it? Yeah, they saw him, I think. He was in their jungle. Oh, uh, I don't know if Genji fight this, you know. Okay, that's a TP. He can get cancelled, though. They cancel his TP. Peanut got it. Oh, nice flash by Faker. Really nice flash by Faker. Oh, nice flash by Owner as well. They win the 4v4, huh? It's so hard for Genji to fight Rakan Wukong Ari against Poppy Tom Kench. Can't go on Jinx ever. Really hard. Bomba. Yeah, I don't know if Genji win it, but Gwen could do a lot more there to stop Wukong from dying. I mean, Gwen's winning side lane, but I don't know. It doesn't really do anything because she has no TP now. Faker no flash, though. Looking for top tier 2. T1 mid to top looks good. They can get this top tier 2. Oh my god, that Jinx damage. Well, in goes Peanut, finds a Cyclone onto Faker here. The bear is going to come down as oh, they don't have TP. Gwen can't stop Sion. Just to fight him. Carrier no flash. Not bad, not bad, not bad. T1 loses this. I don't know if they lose this. Jinx is so far ahead. Jinx is so far ahead. And their comp relies on Jinx. I mean, if Jinx dies, they'll lose, right? But I don't think Jinx can die. T1 Baron, baby. They're TPing behind top. He has no ult. Oh, they're double TPing. This is a full commit for Baron. Yeah, Chobi's dead. Don't flash. Oh, his ult's up in like three seconds, though. But he's fucking dead. Uh, his ult's up in... Five. Oh, uh, yeah, he's dead. Bye -bye. That's Baron. They need to get Jinx to the Baron, though. Need to escort Jinx. Nice play by T1. Chobi has TP in 20. T1 needs to be quick. Nah, this looks pretty easy for them. Unless they fuck up the flip. 15 seconds on Chobi. Game deciding play. Peanut. No flash. The Jinx trap screwed a bit. Oh, Peanut uses W. Oh my god, owner. Owner, 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 owner. Owner, owner, owner. What an ult. What an ult. Jesus, owner. He is smurfing. Is Poppy going to become the pick of the tournament? G2 play Nautilus. Taken. G2 play Poppy. Taken. No cheese anymore. We play it. All they have to do is stay together. Maybe a bit deep. They can't hold this, right? Why are they TPing for it? Don't think Genji can fight this Drake. They should give... The Genji are slowing the game down, which is good. They only got one tower with this Baron, it looks like. So not the end of the world. 
He's trying to get a Filios cleanse. Over the wall, very ready. Yeah, now he needs to be careful. Baker being a bit cocky. They can just wait for Jinx more items. Like, T1's not really on a timer. These uh, Eastern comps don't really run out of gas ever. I mean, Gen G also is fine with more time, but their champs just do so well into T1, into, so badly into T1 champs. As long as Guma doesn't grief it, we're TPing here. Immediate teleport in response, though, as T1. Looking to try and oh, lock the, down the Proto Belt Tech. Here. The mist comes through, but Baker is not going to be deterred the proto by that tech. one. He tries to dash his way out, but he gets stunned into the wall. Oh, Superman, Guma. He's going to pick up the kill. Gumiushi grabs yet the another one. The Proto Belt Tech, I like it. He's nice well, TP by Faker. Really good punish. Wow, T1 are goal, on it today. Like, they are dive, not missing a beat. Everything has been perfect so far. Literally perfect. The only death they gave was the bot dive. And ever since then, it's just on point. Okay, well, Nash is up in 40. Genji is going to have to pull something out of their ass if they want to fight this Gwen is gonna get one shot maybe they can make a pick but yeah their wards are too good by T1 Zeus has just been chilling all game I don't know if T1 clean Ace and Nash this is probably one of the cleanest games I've ever seen in a while but we don't want clean we want bloodbath we want fist fight hopefully Genji wake the fuck up next game why does Aphelios have a shutdown can you not do that Riot games no don't give Aphelios a shutdown what the fuck well T1 are playing this really safe I'm surprised they didn't burn the Nash when they saw Aphelios take a base they're playing for Drake first maybe they think they can't end on this Baron they have to get Drake oh they didn't see it I thought they pinked the bush when he Recalled. Oh, he was around the wall, really? Guaranteed I'll have to rewatch it. Well, Doran has three items. We'll just clear out some of the the light's sweating for a flank. Well, Chovy and uh, Genji have a little bit of setup here, but really this setup is going to get broken instantly when the tanks walk up. God, yeah, this Jinx does damage. This Jinx does damage. They ignited the Wukong for vision. Smart like area. Yeah, it's gone. Come forward. Delight has already pre-popped the ultimate and the Baron they is just going they to really get can't. melted. Peanut taken down extremely low already. It's a fantastic cyclone as they get knocked into oh, maybe the wall. They'll get Zayus going down extremely low. Big damage from Cho from uh, Oh, Pace. Quite enough. Well, they hit a lot of damage, but they the can't do any. Mona, but still, they can't finish any. He's just a raid boss. He's gigantic in this game. Oh, they think back now. The Doran did a lot of work there. The it is feeling a bit like checkmate, yeah. Now they'll base, get BT on Jinx, and then they'll end. Genji, I think, should swap it up a bit. I think they should go red side against T1. Also think Poppy is considered banned, maybe. Drop a ban. Poppy is a big problem. As much as Jinx is carrying this game, I think Poppy is the crutch of this game. Also, I think the Lulu ban on blue side is hurting them more than it's doing them favors. The Lulu ban hurts. If they could play a Filios Lulu, they could have avoided a lot of the problems in this game. Maybe he can live here for a bit. Gen G can cook. Nope, he's gonna die. No, he's not gonna die. Area flashed the Rakan ult. Oh, bye bye. God, that Tippers is doing damage, huh? As Tibbers is going to move back, needs to lick his wounds just a little bit. As Peanut down excruciatingly low, and Gen G, yeah, they don't lose anyone, but they will lose the majority of their base. I mean, that's the top lane tower now gone. Inhibitor follow, and with minions streaming in, T1 are so strong. Kubayushi, that's one of the pop shots. Yeah, no, it is uh, so dangerous. This Storm Razor Jinx doing so much work here as they dive forward. Ona is exceptionally low. He does eventually go down, but it's in trade for the Rakan so far. They're looking for another one. Faker getting taken down low. Pace oh, still Guma. alive. Still I mean, Pace does damage. Yes, Pace does damage. They use eat. They use eat. They use eat. Pace, is he going to look for it? Is he going to look for the ultimate kill? No, he's not going to do it. Not going to go for it. Still had... Wow, they're going to get out. Pace does damage, though. Pace does damage. I don't know if this will stop the soul. They need to get down to bot in time, but I don't think they're going to get this. I think T1's easily in time to fight this. God, this Ari build he does no damage. It did damage against G2. Shut up. Doran has ult up again. He has Ghost. Poppy can just stun him, though. Where is Doran going? Ari's knocked as well. It's a horror fight. Nah, it's over. Unless Peanut can flash in and see it. Just go, Peanut. Go, 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 go. That's right. As it is going to be the Mountain Soul secured, Peanut is going to get taken down a little bit late on the steel attempt. And now Battle Dance is going to get Delight to relative safety, but I don't know how safe they are as the grand exit here going to be utilized by the Rakan. But Pays, that's Did the wrong direction. They may have juked them for the Genji moment. Genji should be more competitive in game two, but the backs, they got bodied. Uh, yeah, not going to get fooled by that one, but still, owner is going to take a lot of damage and just goes down. Okay, they can just look for it one more time. Back. Uh, yeah, they're going to have to try end. and get back because instead, T1 is just going to look to win the game. Doran has ult up again. 
Um, the old uh, owner for Nexus Trade gonna work out here as Pace. Gonna get yet another kill. They're gonna start the back Baker yet again. Time. Kumuchi, you need to hit this Nexus as they are going to spawn relatively soon. But no, he was under no real pressure. He just needs to Did turn he... and get the last few autos and T1. Wow, T1 we'll are looking clean, one. clean, 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 clean. In Very clean. Wow, Peanut did really bad at covering bot this game, though. Also, their strat didn't work of covering bot with the Gwen. They need a better champ if they're going to do that. But I like the idea of it. I like the idea of it a lot. Interesting game. Not the final, so T1 are popping off. I think JMG need to swap it up, drop the Lulu ban, ban Poppy, and I think they're all right, to be honest. I think they're fine. Peanut was completely invisible this game. I swear to God, if they ban Sion, I'm going to lose my nutsack. And someone's going to have to find it for me. They need to get rid of Poppy. Yeah, blue side is fine. But please, drop the Lulu ban. If that's not a Poppy ban on three, I'm going to lose it. Or a Poppy first pick. They will ban Cassante last 1000%. So you're changing your Lulu ban, please. Your Lulu ban was dog shit. I'm telling you, it was trash. Uma, fix your mic. Oh my God, this Lulu ban is trash. It's trash. Okay, now they're either early rotating Gragas or they're first picking Poppy. Jinx, just the problem? Are you fucking cooking? They will just go Sion. On Aphelios, no? I mean, they should be able to control the Poppy. Please don't tell me they're going to early rotate Poppy now. Okay, they can pick Aphelios on three. That makes more sense. Right, okay, so Poppy is not going to be a factor anymore then. Looks like they just care about Sion Annie, which is fine. Early rotation Gragas. Yes! Okay, they changed it up. Early rotation Gragas, good. Just don't pick Wukong either. Like, Wukong is such a... Just don't pick Wukong. Pick, uh, pick Ari. No, don't pick Ari. Yeah, pick Ari. No, don't pick Ari. Pick, um, pick support, actually, no? Pick, pick good support. They should pick Thresh or Rakan because they have to pick AD on three. They have to pick Aphelios on three so just pick a support thresh Rakan. yeah viego's fine i feel like they have to pick ad on three don't they if they don't pick ad they lose what like the thing is they're forced to pick ad on three so you can pick your support blind and ban two i think and if they swap it up then they lose ad so you can win bot lane just any support that's good into any ari ban is fine because they can go like but they must be playing uh wait what do they ban in jungle the reason i don't like the viego pick as well is because you could have flexed the gragas jungle as well right just imagine you have a triple flex gragas with support what do you ban poppy ban very nice. They should ban Sedge, actually. I think Sedge is a good ban. Lissandra. Is he playing LeBlanc? Are they playing LeBlanc? Is Faker... Is Faker playing LeBlanc? I think they should ban LeBlanc, you know. I would. They ban Thresh. Actually, good ban. I like that ban, actually. Now I think about it. I was wrong. That Thresh ban is good. You can't play Jinx, Blitzcrank. It's Thresh. Uh, they can't pick Tom here, I think. They should pick Jungle. What jungle are you picking? Sedge? Sedge is kind of shitty. Ooh, Nocturne. Jesus, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is fine. No, just go Tom Kench. Tom Kench. They should play Tom. Uh, uh, Tom LeBlanc? I think the Nocturne uh, is useless then. I think Tom LeBlanc and this Nocturne is fucked. They will play Rakan on 5, I think, but I think that wins, doesn't it? Oh my god, what? Already on Soul? What if they pick Rakan? Is he sure about that? They could play a range. They could play Aphelios Karma, but I don't think it's worth it. I think they should have picked LeBlanc, man. Oh, this already on Soul is gonna really struggle. I hate this already on Soul. Against any Blitzcrank Nocturne? I really think Chovy should have gone LeBlanc. He might regret it this game. I think he just needs to solo play when they're against these champs. First time in already on Soul in MSI. Holy Chovy. Holy Chovy. I still favor T1 again. Ah, I hate... Actually, I hate it. Game number two. Obviously, this, if this game goes to 35 minutes, it's going to be a Gen G slam dunk. They're going to do the Scion cheese again, but Doran's playing Gregor. So if Doran matches this, they can cover the duck. Oh, Chovy's dead. Is he dead? No, he's fine. Genji scaling is much better. I will say that. Genji scaling is super good. But, 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 but. Genji scaling is super good. But, yeah, Doran covering bots here is fine. But T1 shouldn't do it. They should know that diving the Gragas. Diving with Gragas is complete. Int and now Doran's going to be sitting here thinking they're diving bots. They have to TP top. Oh, Doran. The thing is, what Doran is doing is correct. Because if they do dive bot, if they do dive bot, then the game's fucked. So he's kind of covering it just in case. He will learn in about 10 seconds time that nothing's happening when he sees the Blitzcrank in lane. What Doran should have done is... Oh, no, this, I mean, he can't, he's gonna level 1 gank to carry it. Wait, he's level 1 ganking Blitzcrank. Area. Also one up. He could just throw out a rock grab into the brush if he would like to. As there's the flash body slam, Kumuyoshi immediately knocked up, but just presses the ghost button. The hook is going to be used in response, and yeah, they managed to get a ghost. 
that that is all they're going to be able to find with Doran's flash invested. And that was the thing. What? He knew that their time. I'm what? supposed to be laying against somebody who's not here. Doran! So what the fuck is he doing? Deep, it's so really useless. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, him not having flashes, like, whatever, but that did nothing. He also fucked bot lane XP a bit hard, you know? He fucked bot lane XP. Yeah, he kind of had to do that, but also he could have just recalled in the bush and TP top. Because T1 wouldn't know that Doran TP top because he wouldn't show, right? And they wouldn't see his TP on the tower. Wow, this is really just everyone for bot crab, huh? No flash on Blitzcrank. But Array on Sol is really useless in these fights. No flash on Blitz. Can we fuck this guy up a bit? Oh, delight. The jinx, the flash, I like what he did there. Big plays. Nice start for Genji. He wants to stop top grab or what? No, he's just covering push out. They always lose those. Oh, he has a cookie. But so does Doran. Doran has a cookie. Oh, shit. He's diveable as fuck. He just had to suck it up and take a bad base. Oh, if top was even, he cancelled it. Mm, he can bait this. He has a cookie. They can't dive him. What the fuck? Demolish got a whole plate in one auto? Dude, Demolish is balanced or what? Is Demolish balance? No, it's not. Okay, One correct answer. Dragon versus Bear. Bear gets out. Splinter Cell Bear. Bowson's Lore. Yeah, I mean, they have really good top pressure, but... Yeah, he's playing Scion. This is the problem. Chovy has to hug his tower. I would have loved the LeBlanc this game. Losing Drake, it's fine. Nocturne's quite far from 6, though. So they're chilling on lane. No flash, Aphelios. Oh, Owner with the block. Oh, the Chompers. He got stopped. Owner with the block. Owner with the block. Nice block. Uses his 6-pack to fucking save him. Okay, Crab is good. Nice. He wanted to start looking for things on this Nocturne, Nocturne ult. He won't get it. Ideally, he would have had ult before Tom flashes up, but he won't. He's going to have to play around mid, I think. Yeah, they swapped this. They swapped for Herald. I think it's because Top is losing and they don't want to drop it. Oh, they were looking for stun flash hook, but hard to commit. To be honest, I think that T1 will get Herald. Like, this swap is kind of useless. Gragas will get the push out and he will get a plate. But um, to be honest, this is actually fine. I think this is good for Genji. They almost like fake the Herald to get Genji, Doran, like, back in the game. They're going to have to swap back soon, though, because Jinx is going to be behind. I think this is really good for Genji. Zeus is going to be really late to bot. Nah, they can't do anything here. They can't do anything. Unless they do that, yeah. Unless they do that. Flash knock up. Fair enough. Alright, this swap has turned into a fucking horror. Oh, no, it's a horror. The game has just turned into an absolute disaster. Trovi's going to die as well. Oh my good heavens. Where's Peanut? He can triple kill here. Oh, okay, he got one. So what happened? Did Peanut just leave top? His bot lane swaps, they get Herald, and where did he go? Crazy, like the, the Tomkench kill, well played, fair enough. They got Nocturnal, they flash stun, and they flash knock up, they hook the flash, Carrier played it really well, I didn't think they could do anything. But then how is everyone else getting though? Where is everyone? Where the fuck is my jungler when he's... There are five men top and my jungler's going, gone where? Full clearing? Where's Peanut going? You either swap back and drop this bot wave, or Peanut stays top. You don't do both things. Why, why is he they there and... Yeah, grief, grief, grief. Oh my god, and Doran got cancelled. No, Doran. No, Doran. If Doran gets a TP off, if Peanut doesn't mismatch his bot lane, like, look how quickly he realized he fucked up. Uh, but instead, My man's running across the whole map. Yeah, Peanut's I mean, completely the, the disjointed the from his bot lane. Not good at all. Faker got tower aggro with Tibbers and died faster, so he didn't give a kill. I think Gen G can look to fight if they want. They really Diego is spiking out of his fucking ball sack. Oh, shit. He failed the E flash. He failed the E flash combo. Ooh, big ult. Where's Faker going? What is Faker doing? Kill this Annie. What is the light live? No, he doesn't. Pace is cooking. Hooks on cooldown. Faker was out, but then he went back in and died. Do they get the dragons? Wow, T1 are, T1 are fighting this. Faker's TPing bot. They have to make this quick. There, they're, they're getting it out. It's gone. Wow. Well, Peanut's really strong. And I cancel bases. No Mythic yet for Jinx. Aphelios also have Gale Force in base. Stridebreaker, Nocturne, Spiking. What's Trovi's sum situation? Oh, he can hit that faster. Faker shouldn't be able to get the flash. But then Faker just kind of griefs it. Nice hook by Carrier, though. Good block, but yeah. Well, Orion Soul is doing damage. Nice combo. Oh, Zeus tried to flash out, but you're not going anywhere. He took the Scion, so he can't die. He's so thankful. Oh, big, oh, big knockups! 
Where's the damage? Where's the damage? Where's the damage? In fact, the Viego is going to fall. Viego in silent passive killing people. Collecting it, but his Holy fuck. We have Rylice. No, we can't chase. Viego in silent passive. I wonder if Peanut did that on on purpose. I thought Peanut would re ult there. Damn, that combo by Trovi Peanut was insane. Trovi playing silent better than Doran less than Zeus. Or Peanut, rather. So here I thought Peanut would re ult again. Look, after this knock up. I thought he would knock up and then ult on, ult on Nocturne now. Oh, he got stunned. Uh, he got stunned. Viego silent passive. No flash of Helios. Hey, hey, hey. No flash of Helios. Need to start fighting Drakes now, though. These Drakes are really important. Is Zeus soloing? Yeah, he is. Need more time for this early on as well. Need to start cooking up. Yeah, Genji need this next Drake or it's absolutely doomed. Well, not absolutely, but it's pretty doomed. Need this next Drake no matter what. No matter what, Faker. You're so cocky. You're so cocky. You're so cocky. He has not got any vision either. You're so cocky. He only has river vision. Okay, one minute. What can Genji cook up in items? I think they're pretty much juiced out. Area, no flash. T1 will get... Will they get this top tier one? No. Okay. Chovy will catch, has TP. 40 seconds on the respawn, pays bases, maybe a zeal. Ooh, god, he didn't get the base off, that's pretty bad. Okay, they're in river first, they're in river first. Setup is a bit odd though. Dor okay, that's terrible. He needs to flash out. He didn't have flash. Yeah, Drake's gone. Oh my god, man, just these sloppy mistakes. They might even lose mid tier one, to be honest. Yeah, they're gonna lose mid tier one. They're gonna lose mid tier one, they're gonna lose Drake, and then T1 can base and get top tier one. Does Genji? No, they can't even fight this can they they're thinking about it don't mind it soul point they're gonna have soul at 23 24 minutes they can't afford to make these mistakes you are just playing really really clinical i think they just lack the setup don't they genji normally genji is the best in the world at setups uh, that mid tower is dead when you have a tower like that is it really worth risking killing that tower on 100 hp when the tower is basically guaranteed on the next reset no it's not just take a base get a philios he probably has ie in base you know a philios probably has ie in base easily give soul early so you can go elder faster Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, just give Mountain Soul so we can fight Elder. I, I, shut, the shut, dude, shut the fuck up. Oh, he doesn't have IE. He must be close, though. A Soul late game carry? Yeah, late game. Late game. Keyword. Late. That's 30 minutes. So we just, just farm for 10 minutes? Is that the call? Hey. Hey, guys, what if we just, like... What if we just, like... Oh, carrier. What if we just farm for 10 minutes? I have a feeling T1's gonna butcher a baron i have this massive feeling that t1 is gonna fucking butcher a baron somehow hope does nothing carry is dead he thought he had green gun it's fine didn't go down without a fight, but he still will go down. Peanut Does Genji? The Genji? No, they have nothing from this. They're, they're right, going to lose a top tier one. No, they're not going to lose a top tier one. Chovy just flew across the map. Peanut. They don't have a Baron Peanut. angle. What is Faker? Yeah, Peanut just looking for it. Does okay. Not find the stun there onto Faker. Faker's cocky as fuck, man. What? Faker's oh, movement this series is absurd. The reset for Peanut? Can he grab it? No, he can't. He's going to die if he grabs it. Oh, he's going to grab it now. But I don't know if he wants that. Oh, Kuma. Oh, Guma! Yeah, Guma. It's Guma. It's a Guma show. Yes, cleanse. Wow, Guma just fucking solo carried it, didn't he? That's Baron. That is Baron. But I think Faker carried that play, to be honest. Like, he was... He lived way longer than he should have, but then Guma carried it. Also, Doran didn't really do anything in that fight, did he? Oh, is he dead? They have eat? No, they don't have eat. It's, on, it's bugged on the spectator? Yeah, it is. Well, the game is now over. The game is now officially over. Over. T1 not in finals. Maybe the best team in the world. T1 in finals. <laughs> Faker, cocky movement. How did he dodge that? What? Sionalt was really good. EP came in. Nice eat, but... Whoa, carrier. Oh, carrier, carrier, carrier. I, I, I don't know, dude. Oh, carrier. Stop it, stop it. Carrier man, like he's he's fucking aimbotting. He is fucking aimbotting. Stridebreaker and Atham is Nocturne. Actually, looking at how hard T1 stomping Gen G, you know, I think EU's chances are not bad. I think we're gonna make a run in the lower bracket. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> now nah, look, my hopium. I am so. What is it when you build up something against it? Like you take something for so long, but then you like you're so good against it that you have to take more. What's that called? Tolerant. I'm way too tolerant for copium. Like you need to fucking inject me. 5,000 liters, like the Atlantic Ocean of Copium, and maybe I'll believe 1%. Now oh, I'm so done. I'm so done. And we need to find a Hopium Oasis. Does Genji still have a chance in this game? Uh, no. Mountain Soul, Scion with Aphelios, 7-1-1. Brazil level? No. Bomba. 
Carrier. Carrier's having fun. Look at him, his little smile. As Peanut just throws a bear at him, and there's only so many times he can dodge it, Peanut. Feels very oh, Faker. Oh, Faker flashing forward, finds a big old Bomba, but not a, a not a big enough Bomba, I think. Carrier might die. No, he's not even thinking. Zeus is thinking. Good God, Genji is getting absolutely bodied. I think Delight is really struggling in the series. Carrier is gapping Delight so hard. And this Scion is a problem. They should have gone red side. That's not fair. It's just not okay, fair, is it? It's not even fair. Carrier just leaves. He doesn't even look at the damage dealt. Doesn't look at the scoreline. He's just fucking done. Just go next. Let's end it quick. He's got a. He's got to order food. I don't know. T1 is showing up. T1 is showing up. Carrier Joker arc. Can you imagine if Carrier goes on his Joker arc? Good God. Will we get a five-game series? Uh, I don't know. I just don't think Genji have the mental to reverse sweep. They get. Br they break so easily, Genji. They're a very momentum very heavy team if they're winning they're winning if they're losing they're fucking losing okay we swap sides very nice lucian nautilus very nice sir this is a wendy's kasante ban for t1 i like it maokai ban okay is scion first picked for t1 no way right they dropped the lulu ban thank god why are we even banning lulu it's so useless he's good lulu but like how is the game playable okay scion take away do we take away scion i don't think t1 give a fuck about the scion they're just gonna trade ad Genji, you gonna go jinx again or what? They should go Aphelios, to be honest. They should go Aphelios and save support till three if they want to count big. Because if they blind Aphelios Lulu and you're playing Jinx, what do you play? Jinx Leona? Okay, well, they're gonna do it. Maybe Jinx Thresh. Unless they're doing Jinx Lulu. But then I think T1 will do something else. They'll just play Aphelios Lulu. Because I think Aphelios has more kill pressure. Okay, that makes more sense. But now they just play Aphelios Thresh, don't they? Okay, so now what happens if they go Aphelios Lulu? What do you pick? Jinx Thresh? What is the counter pick? What is it if they go Aphelios Lulu? What is the answer? What's the answer? Because you're griefing me if you're griefing me if they do that. Even if they go Aphelios Thresh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is your say? If you are you going to if you go Jinx Thresh, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna do a 360. I swear to God. If that's your answer, I'm gonna do a 360. Yeah. But you're playing Jinx Blitzcrank. Is it good? Aphelios has way more kill pressure, so I think you have to pick Jinx Ludo or Aphelios and counter support. I'll do it. Fuck off. I'm so mad. Do you remember when dumb fucks when they were younger said, I don't want to play on the Xbox because if you play on the Xbox, all you want to do is do a 360 and walk away. And you're like, dumb fuck, if you do a 360 and walk away, it's right there. What? I did a 360. Why are you scamming? Rumble. What the fuck? Rumble Wukong? Yeah, T1 will pick Scion. I don't think they give a fuck about that. They're playing the same comp over and over. What is it? Scion Diego, Scion Sejuani, Scion... Scion what? Elise. Ooh, I don't like Elise. I don't like Elise at all. I don't like Belveth either. I think it's Diego, isn't it? Actually, don't mind Lee Sin, to be honest. I like Lee Sin. Ooh, Kha'Zix. Okay, not bad. I like that too. Oh, it's Rumble mid. Mm, okay. You know what? I think T Genji's gonna win this game. I think Genji is gonna win this game. Mods Gamba. Ice. Genji. Bet on Genji. Bet on Genji. Bet on Genji. Bet on Gen G, bet on them. They have Rumble Wukong. If Annie has no flash, they can play mid to bot and they can dive bot. And if they don't do that, the game's lost. If they play mid to bot really hard, then they can probably win. But if they don't do anything in the first 50 minutes, they can stand in base and dance. No skin Rumble? Yeah, he has skin. You have to play... There's a law with Rumble. If you play Rumble, you have to play Super Galaxy Rumble. Otherwise, you're just dizzy. Yeah, there it is. Super Galaxy Rumble. No Super Galaxy Rumble, no win. Super Galaxy Combat Breaker. <laughs> I was wondering why they were hugging that side of that wall. I guess there was nothing to do there. Nice hook. Oh my god, we're all in bot. We are fighting and we are committing to this one. Carry a lid on fire, down to 150. As Delight's moving forward, not all that scared, but maybe he should be. As Gumiushi firing back nicely. Yeah, Jinx level 1 is really powerful. I want to see more fighting, but it's on Gen G to pull triggers this game. Kha'Zix will power farm, Annie will try to contest mid wave. If Annie loses sums, or they can find some kind of like stacking waves bot, it's complete free real estate. Stop saying F, shut up. Oh, Doran. Doran's gonna dive on top of a Q. Looks for an opportunity have Q. to go back in. This could spell his demise. Here. As we're gonna see a hook go out on this bottom side. Peanut setting up, but already Doran is under threat. Looking for that flash angle. We'll see whether he finds it. Actually, he's not looking for the flash. Oh. The ops out of the way. Zeus's oh. health bar is going down. Doran's playing and this really well. He's splitting away from Ona. Has Doran kept himself alive? Finally does uh, flash. And he's nope. been isolated. There is the first 
he played it so could have ran down the river but then he would run into faker so what can he do really what can he do if he if he runs down he dies if he runs left right he dies and if he stalls he dies genji you really need to stop playing mid to bot did anything happen bot oh carrier oh carrier up he dies round he dies down he dies running this way could buy time maybe yeah he could have just run out i think at the start at the very start he could have run out it's gonna be absolutely fine but now doesn't have a flash and the scrap shield on cooldown as well but using knife for nimbus cloak zeus didn't have the q charge up and because of the nimbus cloak he went over him <laughs> peanut is completely so afk this series <clears throat> g2 broke genji thoughts g2 broke them here we go this is the mid to bot they need oh they lost the red oh they needed that red they really needed that red i can't believe it they haven't gone mid to bot once yet they haven't even tried to threaten any rumble to still up wukong still farming they need to do something soon they're losing drake as well they lose they lose drake because of the red genji is really afk this is what i told you they are an afk team but they are really good macro in the finals they weren't afk at all though all right finally we're gonna do something t1 really gonna contest this very risky where's chobi hey chobi drop this mid wave doran just jumps past him okay not going to press the r button though as super mega death rocket is going to fly by peanut gonna get eviscerated in the battle faker grabs that one but the kazi is gonna be taken there's no smite it's a decent cue there from the scion but it's a double kill for chobi before he goes down now doran's trying to oh doran got it oh he got the buff as well. It's a Almost. decent lantern, but not enough to save Doran. And Delight is just going to try and make his way out. T1 going to win this one. I need mean, things have not been working oh, out. Oh, yeah. The Thrush is going to fall. Okay, great. Oh. As Fake is going to oh. rest his Zonyas. Get it's a horror. Growth, and he it's an absolute mine. disaster. Genji fucked that fight up we'll so hard. Nar whipped it. Wukong did nothing. He got though. one so shot. Chobi's ult was in Narnia. Your 3v3 top side should be winning 3 for 0 every time. Or 3 for 1. Really unfortunate. Genji really should have won that fight. The replay is really slow, huh? Any replay in yours? So T1 are ahead 2k gold with a better scaling comp. And Genji's playing an early mid game comp. Well, more mid game, but yeah. They should have found dives with Rumble, but they didn't find anything. This Rumble is going to be useless soon. Maybe 10 minutes and Rumble's off. Rumble really needs to roam. He's so powerful in skirmishes. Don't tell me he's going to have to give up this bot wave. Okay. Oh. Well, even without boots, that Nar is fast, huh? And Nar has Herald, so he's probably going to put it down on this wave. Drake is up in one. <clears throat> and he TP back. And he no flash for 10 seconds. Can they kill it? They have to collapse, collapse, collapse. Oh, they rumble ulted the wave for what? They don't have rumble ult for Drake now. Why are we rumble ulting? Oh, shit. That is really not good. He got the CS, I guess. They can't fight Drake. They have to give this. Zeus can ult down the river as well. What? We're fighting this? Huh? T1 are well aware of this. Yeah, all you get is a heal. That's not worth it. Gumayushi still has double summoners. Wild Growth is available as well. Oh, Peanut's going to move Okay, in. sure. I mean, we don't have Rumble ult. Maybe, I mean, Bonus Jinx is far aggro. away. As it does turn, there's the flash tibbers from Faker to start off this fight. Hook is going to connect. Azaeus is not going to be worried about the CC right now. A Cyclone comes in from Peanut, but he's relatively low. Dragon secured by T1 as they grab the Infernal. And now they're just looking to back themselves out. Hook going to go completely wide there as Doran's Nabar is <laughs> getting there. Does get the extra health as Gumiushi says, get away from me. And now imagine that fight if you have an equalizer. Right, which is what the comp is. Nice. Yeah. Would have been what better, Would have been yeah. great. Uh, not going to be the case, and it takes away so much of the team fighting well, power that you have otherwise available. It's getting really tough. Fight, Don't tell me they're losing a mid tier one. Anything, yeah, right? like, they're losing a mid tier one. No ult, oh no my flash. god. Yeah. Okay, well, Genji have like five minutes to make something happen. They have five minutes to ace T1, crack open tier ones, and make sure this game is playable. Because if they don't and they just scale, it's completely doomed. This could have been the MSI finals. No, T1 would be losing if it was the MSI finals. I will keep making this meme until they win a finals. The second T1 win a finals, the meme will die. But until then, they might be the best team in the world, no one knows, but we need to keep a meme alive for them until they prove it. And when they prove it, the meme dies. But until then, we will hold it against you. We need it. We need something. So they have top push, mid push, bot push. They lose both side lanes. They're down two drakes. Owner six pack. Yeah, he does have a six pack. Yeah, two minutes. If Genji want to wait for a dragon fight, sure. But you have to fight that dragon and you can't grief it. Herald mid. Will they get the tower? Looks like it. Wow, they're TPing because the Herald has to hit the TP, but it can't kill the TP, so it's stuck. Oh, Chobi no flash. Ooh, buried very deep by T1. Ooh, 
Pace, 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 pace. He just gets angry, but not angry enough to take anyone down. And Gen G, they will get a kill onto the mid laner, but they lose the value from Shirley. A little bit trigger happy there from Zayas. Yes, he's able to tank all that. Was a nice idea, but yeah, no follow up. Drake in one minute. Gen G don't have ult flash on Wukong. T1 didn't lose. I mean, they lost Lulu sums as well, actually. Chovy's Chovying. He can get top tier one base, run to Drake, have to be in time for this Drake. Don't grief it. Can he even greed for next wave? I don't think he can. Next wave would be low. Lovely, but he can't greed for it. Doran don't int. Doran don't int. Doran don't int. Too late. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Too late. How are we getting in here? How are we getting in here? If this ends fast, do we get Mad G2 earlier? Yeah, we do. There's no way they stole for 30 minutes. Surely not, right? Where are we TPing? Come on, Genji. Come on, at least show something in this series. The equalizer was dog shit. They got the Drake, though. That's important. That's all that matters. Oh, flash hook was terrible. Oh, Faker. Just yet, but Peanut is separated from the rest of his team, and Gale forts forward from Gumiushi to look for more. Not going to be out of the roots. The roots. Oh, the nice ult there by Doran. Otherwise, his team was fucked. He's going to die for it, though. Oh, Guma, Guma, Guma. Is it a Baron angle? I don't think it's a Baron angle. I like the mid tower call. The Rumble ult was bad. I mean, what Chovy wanted to do with that Rumble ult is Sion is hooked. I'll ult their backline. Let's kill Sion. But his ult missed. I think he needed to play it more sideways or just wait for Wukong engage. Owner is just going to get interrupted there as Peanut is going to press the stop the button. Peanut, you're so lucky. Okay. He tried to fake the W. He either didn't have W or he tried to fake it. It looked like he tried to fake it. I don't know. I think Genji's run out of time. They have one more Drake fight in them, I think. But this is Thelios. We're keeping Tanesh. T1 Baron. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fuck up this Baron. Reverse sweep inbound. Well, Chovy over the side. Doran moving in. There's the equalizer. Peanut gets into the pit. It will be a 50 50, but it's secured by owner. Peanut explodes. Easy clap. And T1, they'll take the jungle and they'll take the Baron. The first one, Easy 22 clap. and a half minutes. Second one, 21 minutes. Third one, 23 minutes. All right, nice. Is it really a flip? If you... Yes, yes. It is still <laughs> yes. a flip. Yes, it is. That was still exploding. Get Baron. I don't think they can get this top you tier too. Oh my god, the Fidel's damage. Well, oh, the Baron with it. Avoided by Gumiushi. Fantastic reflexes. Nice big, nice deal for us. Guma, easy. Spend some gold before they Holy board. shit. Well, Drake's in 50. That should be free for T1 as well. I don't know. Genji's comp just sucks, man. Like, they're not going to win this game. Genji's comps have needed to kill AD to win the game and T1's comps have protected AD for the entirety of the fight and Gumayushi's like never had to flash backwards I feel like maybe a couple times in these games it's never been like flash and then punish I think he died once the whole series keep Guma God alive I mean I think JDG will be watching T1 and being like hmm keeping AD carry alive to win an international tournament and we have ruler hmm thinking emoji oh my god God, Faker. What the heck was that? Okay, Faker. He just takes oh pace my with him God, Faker. So How did he do that? Gen Jinx had both really sums. Like How did he do that? How did he do that? Jinx, I don't so know whether they can. Did Pace just walk up and get one shot? He didn't even flash. Show the replay. Show the replay. They're ending. Bot. I don't. Did he swap to white now? Oh, this Aphelios. As all of their stuff gets broken in their house. It does... Say a lot with Guma Yushi. Oh, hang on. All right. Guma. Well, he's uh, walking up to three people. Guma. The flame chambers go, goes down. Guma. Guma. He's going to die first. Now he's flashing Guma. forward. Guma just threw phase. the game a little bit. That Jinx just got 1.6k gold or something. Oh, Kerry, I didn't have heal. To get them into a winning position. I don't think so just yet. Okay, Guma. The, the previously was confidence. This time it was overconfidence. <laughs> just flashes in. Has faith. Uh, ends up going down. Well, he's died twice this series now. Really that was a huge kill for Jinx. Base Palace back in it. Still not very good for Genji. Pace Palace back in it. Show the faker replay. Show the faker replay, please. I need to see what. Did Pace just get 100 to 0? RQW? No, it must have been RWQ because he flashed and died. Baron in 150. Jinx would love a BT before that Baron spawn. She won't have flash for it, though. Won't have flash for Baron. T1 should probably force on the flash disadvantage. But the Philios has those sums too, but... Can uh, Peanut and Chovy oh, slam dunk this fucking Aphelios? I don't think they can, you know. I don't think they can. And I think Chovy and Doran need to swap soon. Very soon. Ooh, Faker. Oh my god. 
as Delight still going to be able to get a lot of damage, but the Zonyas is going to keep Faker alive for so nice long. Turret falls on the top side as Faker. He stays alive. Peanut also oh going to be able God. to stay Peanut's up alive. as well. Oh my God, Peanut's alive. Peanut's alive. This could be huge for Genji. Carry on no sums. Oh, that's a Rumble Wood right there. That's a Rumble Wood. Goran? So Take the lantern pace! No! Oh my god! A, a quadra kill! Kubayushi. What? Gubayushi just killed everyone! He just killed everyone! What? What the hell? He melted every single player! They all just got one shot! Owner is executed, it's just Zeus, but Zeus can't kill Chovy. Chovy's alive, he's gonna just heal on the fountain. And now Chovy's gonna chase him down, he's got Nimbus Cloak on the Ignite. He doesn't even need to use the Ignite. Okay, well he does, I guess. And now the game's still fine again. Guma's fed, Baron's still up. Can they do Baron on spawn? Can we sprint to Baron? They have 4 seconds on the respawn. Clear the wave, 20 seconds on jungle. It was the turrets! That's all they needed! The no, they don't think they can. They don't have time. They don't have time. But they're going for it. 20 seconds on Scion, no TP. Jinx has flash up soon, but Aphelios doesn't. They almost have Wukong flash as well. Genji needs to full send on that Aphelios. They have, they have about a minute to full send on that Aphelios. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ooh, that's one auto attack. Okay, Genji, please. Genji, 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 Genji. The Rumble is defensive, the Rumble is defensive. They got the Baron, can they get out? They have to fight their way out. Watch Peanut, watch Peanut, watch Peanut. Oh, oh he stop watch it. The stun. Kuma's gonna die. It's playable, it's playable, it's playable. Kill, kill, kill. Base! Dragon in 10, deny the soul. Clear bot waves, clear bot waves. Someone base, 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 base. They're going to end. They don't have TP on Sion. Can they end? 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 This is... Doran TP needs to TP in. Doran needs to TP in. Doran needs to TP in. TP, 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 TP. Zeus, can he stall? 10 seconds, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, need to heal, need to kill the towers. Guys, guys, towers, towers. 8 seconds, 8 seconds. Kill the towers! Kill the towers! Genji won the game! What? They won the game! They had no business in winning that game. No chance in hell to win that game. What? They're playing Rumble, Wukong, Nar? Aphelios is 7-0 with a Lulu? What? Now, Genji is a mental team. They're gonna smile, they're gonna be happy, and I think this could go to 5. Like, Doran's probably super happy, like, they are so momentum-based. This could be this could be big for Genji, like... They're probably... But I guess this could Gui be a bounce back. They have hope. The Don't give Genji no, hope. Because uh, Genji is world class when they have hope. T1, T1 gave them hope. Don't do that. 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 Owner end up tanking those next what the fuck just happened? Came at the end. I mean, Owner executing to the towers, or they probably just end, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. it comes down to that. I think he was so focused on if I'm Genji over there and killing Jovi that he's not paying attention to the towers. This game just got insane towards the end. And what I would do now, very far behind, for game four, up shutdown after shutdown I would play shutdown and full protect the pace. Really relevant down the stretch. And I think a big thing here is the fact that Gumi is so strong, has so much peel and protection, but they I would play everything or in Karma, sink at him. Jinx. He still does a ton of damage. I think here, this is the only way drops, to win this series. It's just not the follow through in the team fight for them to because win T1 out is doing the exact same Genji fucking thing. To bring it back. Well, I mean, they're, they're they should match it. Fight, trying to contest the they Baron, should match it. That's the right draft. Like that was this game worked out because Chovy, we were talking about. Oh my God. God, look at Chovy. Yeah. Look at Chovy. Look at his items. Most of the game wasn't wasn't really. P. Stopwatch. Buy. Use. Perfectly. Um, Faker. You know. Comfort Live. On the, on the, on the he would have got smited otherwise. Scion. It was three straight games of that for T1. It looked like. Look how quick been, he is. So what? So I still feel Stopwatch. Like he would have got smited. I think he would die. Be able to reliably win a game because yeah. I don't think. That's what turns it. I feel like. Holy shit, Chovy! Yeah, I 100% agree. You're a like fucking monster. Place where you're like, okay, let's just run it back or anything. Yeah. Wait, he emoted too? Did he emote as well? <laughs> he emoted as well. So, I mean, Holy it, fuck, really Chovy, you're a nutcase. You're fucking crazy. 
All right, please the drop the Lulu Ben. The game to go in is no Lulu. No. No. Any Ben? I don't mind the Any Ben. Nice, Nautilus Ben. Good. Pick is yawning. I don't mind the Jinx. T1, is Sion still your is Sion still your Bay? You could keep them guessing. You played three games of Sion. You only invaded on one. Is it time to pick Sion again and do it in invade? Okay, they take Lulu. Also, I think Wukong is such a bait. This champ makes me lose my fucking ball sack and I can never find it. I hate Lulu. I hate Lulu. I hate it. Uh, not Lulu. Wukong, sorry. Ooh, Faker Ari. Lissandra Lee. Lock it. Lock Lissandra Lee. Lock it. Lock it. Or... You pick support. You can play Thresh, but I don't like it. I don't like I don't like Thresh. If you drop Lissandra now, oh my God, Peanuts, Wukong, do nothing challenge, hundred percent grinding. Oh man, I would have preferred Lee Sin so much more. I really think Lee Sin was was it because I think now owner Lee Sin, show it to me. Oh, they can't. They have to pick Aphelios, can't don't they? They have to pick Aphelios. Okay, wait. What do you ban now? If they pick Aphelios, do you ban Poppy Viego? What do you have? Poppy Viego, Lee Sin. Which ones do you ban? I think Lee Sin Viego. No, do you give Poppy? No, you must have to ban Poppy, right? Maybe you ban Poppy Leeson. You play versus Viego. It's fine, no? Maybe they just ban Poppy. Happy birthday, BRE. Who's BRE? Blitzcrank ban. To be honest, I think the light should just go Rakan. Fuck it. Ban Poppy, go Rakan. I think Poppy Leeson give Viego. I think owner Leeson might solo carry the game if you give it to him. If they play tank top two. Or actually, maybe just ban Sion. Actually, fuck it. Sion? Sion ban? They might four pick Gregas then. But I think Gregas here, Gregas Rakan, to me, just turns me on. I also don't mind Rakan now. Sion ban, Viego ban, Lee Sin ban. Kennen has dropped off the fucking cliff. Yeah, Sion ban, I like it, I like it, I like it. I think Lee Sin, he will go Lee Sin for sure, right? If he goes Lee Sin, Gragas is even better. Could still go Viego. He's playing Nocturne against Lissan. What the fuck? He's griefing. Go Tom. No, it's so bad. Don't go Tom. Uh, go. Yeah, Rakan. I like the Rakan. Is it Rakan, Gragas? Do we just stick to the same plan? Don't go Tom Kench. It's so shit. Tom Kench versus Lulu is unplayable. Let's go Gragas Rakan. Please, 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 please go Gragas Rakan. Go Gragas Rakan. Thank God. The only scared thing I am. The only thing I'm scared now is can Zeus play Olaf top? Can he play Olaf top? If he can play Olaf top. <laughs> Jesus, it's over. Okay, alright. I can't believe I'm wearing this blazer. I'm gonna get my bow tie for when G2 play. I'm gonna strap it around my neck. My little bow tie. Wait, I need to get my snooze. Wait. All right, show it to me, Genji. I think you can make this a fiver. A five-game slapper. I believe in you. We believe in. We believe in. We believe in each other. Has Genji ever won a team fight this, this series? Jesus. All right. What is my camera doing? Peanut is smiling. Why is he smiling? He's down two games. Shut the fuck up, Peanut. What are they doing? And we have a camera of two guys dressed up in fucking... In the cowbell? Someone's chanting, yes, go C9. This will be a very slow game. This will be a very slow game. Bot has no kill pressure. Mid has no kill pressure pressure till six Killing top is farming is and both junglers want a full clear so everyone get your bed ready everyone get comfortable get your legs up get your legs up feel feel the wind in it from your window brush your face as you watch them do nothing for the next there's nothing to do in this game both comps are literally copy paste of each other barring the range support versus rakan both want to do the exactly the same thing is that your leg yeah it is my leg what did you think it was they got ghosts out of a video so bad not too shabby both junglers to do mismatch full clears trade of crabs it's really easy i mean in jungle matchups where they're both power farmers you just start red and you can never really fall behind oh clean remember chat after this series is g2 mad it's the same day same day best of five we're not ending the stream we're going next series there's two best of fives today not one so g2 versus mad loser is out msi doesn't end after this there's another series today and tomorrow there's two series blg jdg c9 golden guardians tomorrow it's only at 17 no they'll probably start it as soon as this series ends they basically do 12 till 5 because they are budgeting for five games right five hours but it'll end it'll start after the series again nothing's gonna happen this game until the first two drakes maybe and there's no bot dives no side dives no mid push was scion ben yeah scion was bent nice ward by doran on his krug respawn he knows owner's gonna full clear l9 the whole game neither jungler bases because nocturne wants iron spike whip on first base so what you do is you full clear down and then full clear your next two camp respawn then you base and go back to the opposite side so nocturne will do krugs base iron spike whip maybe gank top actually but he's on a ward he doesn't know it go on q to bush Ooh. Oh, 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 hello, Chovy. Faker, Faker, ma making some plays here. Faker is actually beating him in lane right now. Is there a kill here? He has a flash. Oh, nice charm. charm. To deny Peanut. Now the blast zone is in position. Oh, he's oh, the flash on. Oh my god. 
Going to get juked a little Baker's bit in their head. One. Foxfire He's is dead though. Out as Doran looking to round him. He just flashes on over. All right. Well, Doran's flash is down and Faker is still dead. Well, they get Drake for it. Faker global taunt pulls Doran flash. Yeah, he was just marking the blast cone, I think. Yeah, Connor is correct. I think it's fine to guarantee the kill. It's whatever. No flash. We trump the Lissandra, though. Toby can one-shot here. Wait, Zeus just solo killed Doran. What? Now two versus one is Toby wanting to take down Owner. He grabs that kill and now another circle of frost comes in. How did Zeus just solo kill Doran? What? Uh, by the way, while that's happening, yeah, what happened Zeus to Doran? solo killed Doran. Oh, Doran, yeah, Doran, Doran. Oh right, my god, he just absolutely rolled so him. Well no flash Kuma. Kill to pace. Carry has the flash too. T1. To Man, I think Genji has a really good game state. There, though, really good game state, but side. they need to make Get sure that Doran doesn't keep hinting. <laughs> and they're going to lose Herald for this, maybe. They need to... Can they fight? No, they can't. They're going to lose Herald no matter what. They're going to lose Herald no matter what. It's fine, though. They get Jinx a good base. Jinx still has sums as well. Genji are getting lucky. Oh, they're getting lucky. Genji is just lucky. Yeah, no, I agree. Shut up. Next. Next dragon is what Gen G really need to fight. They do have a slight gold lead, and in the early game, they haven't really had many gold leads as they dive on top of Whoa, Baker. Do they have the damage? He does have the ult. He's staying alive. They don't have the damage. That's Merc Treads into Lissandra first item. That's Merc Treads. Merc Treads so important against Lissandra. Really need it. Oh man, that's really unlucky for Gen G. They should have got a kill there. Happens, 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 happens. No flash on Carrier. He's dead. Blunder by Carrier. Give the kill to Pace. Hell yeah, baby, Gen G. Gen G are playing through both. Peanuts woken up. Peanuts doing things in the game. Doran has good pressure top. He can kill Zeus here. He can kill, he can kill, he can kill. Why doesn't he ult him? He ult, no damage? Scared of Nocturne, maybe? I think he's scared of Nocturne. He can't kill, you think? I don't know, it depends. Do you max, you max W on Gragas, don't you? The E, no, he max E. Are you sure he can't kill? I feel like he has the damage. The rocket, oh! Oh my god, Doran. Pace, oh man, Genji are fucking, Genji are non-stop talking now. Genji is woken up. Hey, this is you, baby. International stage, 17 years old. Show it to me, baby. Does he have Mythic in base? He has Mythic in base. He has Mythic in base and top is even again. Oh my god, he went Gale Force. Hmm, interesting. Faker might have to ult here. But Zeus is covering this. Oh, Faker very slow reaction to this play. He might die. He didn't know He didn't know Wukong was there. He didn't know he was going to get ulted. I thought it was slow, but I think he just didn't see, of course. Oh, Peanuts might die. Owner saved the fear. That should be two. That should be, that could be two. That could be two. No, it's not going to be two. He got the blast. He got the sweeper pen for move speed. TP bot by Faker. TP bot by Faker. Think he's trying to lane gank here. Blast cone maybe? Blast cone over lane gank bot? Nope, he's going back mid. No, he's not. Nah, he can't do anything here. He doesn't have any damage. He has no damage on this RE right now. Oh, Chovy and Pace are super fed. They need to fight this next Drake, though. Oh, Faker missed Cannon. So many weird things happening this game. Genji, Genji, Genji. Oof, Blast Cone. Bigger Blast Cone. Reverse Sweep. Might be. 100% Reverse Sweep. I don't know. Doran's gonna die here, though. Ooh, nice knock. The cask is gonna be used, but only on to the Nocturne. And so Doran just knows that he's real dead. He's gonna try and clear up some of this. Try to clear the way to stop bot tier 1 from falling, but I think bot tier 1 dead no matter what. The first tower will go to Aphelios. They'll get Herald from mid, they can't dive top. Blunders by Doran. Uh, Doran should not make that mistake. Doran cannot make these mistakes. Okay, Drake in 40. I think Nocturne will be up for it. They swap back after Herald. They're actually going 1 3 1. I think it's good. D1 are dropping Drake. They're dropping Drake. This T1 lane assignment is a bit awkward. I'm not sure what their play is here. They can't dive top, but they also aren't fighting Drake in this setup. Oh, he just got knocked into tower. Did he Gale Force in? He must have made a mistake there, Guma. What? He just Gale Force into tower or what? By accident? Still gonna be up here trying to see if he can clear the waves. You have to be careful. The ultimate is up. Yeah, paranoia is going to come We're forward. We're TPing top. Just gonna get dove on. He's in the bouncy I think Chovy thought that Doran was getting be dove. Because he didn't have vision, he pre-TP top to try and cover the dive. Still. 
It's going to be the Raptors stolen away, and now T1 underneath their I think Chobi tried to cover the dive there. Because obviously he can't TP when Nocturne looks up, and he's actually insanely nice play by Chobi. Nice stopwatch by Delight. Looks for the knock up with the Rams. Zayus just Delight got flash in five target, seconds, but he doesn't have flash yet. His flash is up in three, Zayus two. Is going to fall down. Oh, just Zayus came up. That kill and now on the run. Baker has to get out they have Herald, don't they? And Genji are looking for Did they use it already? Now. They're going to start pushing this yeah, they wave. Yeah, they use it already. I'm high. Very quickly cleared they get by Drake. Baker. Will stop a lot of this push. So looks like Genji. Oh, Genji is going to run away with this game. They'll move over towards Dragon and take that gold that was so happily given to them. And we've seen this issue with T1 before where if they have early game control, they Gen G will is gonna run away with this one. Fall, yeah, the loser is not out there in lower bracket. Yeah, we'll that Chovy pre TP top uh, was pretty no. clean Press though. They got Drake. Look at Pays, how fucking fed he is. Holy shit. So, how do they end this cleanly? They just have to control top side. They can wait for IE on Jinx and force a Baron pretty easily. They have such good tools for turn. Rakan, Lissandra, Wukong is probably some of the best turn you have at the Baron in the entire game. Filios, no flash. T1's trying to defend their red. I think they might have to give though. Oh, Baker's dead. Oh wow, man, T1 look fucking dizzy as hell, man. That's gonna be a top tier too. If they can have Doran move mid, this is GG. Look at Doran. Doran move mid, cover, take top tier too. Yeah, it's clean. Genji macro, it's good. They might lose the tower anyway, depending on Aphelios guns. No, they know he's moving. Yeah, dude, Genji macro, it's just... Now Lissandra can base and catch bot wave. It's... Now they play for Nash again. Okay, now we're they can play for bot tier one really easily if they want to play mid to bot. Just all about but uh, I think they should just keep threatening mid waves and Nash. Like this Aphelios flashes up soon, but they can punish it. If they step up this mid wave here, T1, I think Genji can go on them. They have to give this T1. I think that's exactly like just trying to get Trovi could be a bit greedy here and hit bot tier one and play for TP, but the problem is Nocturne ult will stop his TP, so they will have like a six second window to start a fight, which is really, really risky. So he's not showing right now, Chovy. He's threatening that he's there. Now he's going to show on bot wave because they got mid wave. But now T1 can go in, but Genji will go out so that Chovy can push because they know that he he can't uh, join the fight. Now Chovy gets bot tower, he'll push the next wave, and then Genji can step up again. It's clean. Can you cleanse Nocturnal? Uh, no, you can only QSS it. I'm pretty sure you can QSS Nocturnal, yeah. I remember seeing people QSS and TP in. Didn't, you used to be able to QSS it, didn't you? You used to be able to do something to it. You can. I swear you can, you can, right? Or do they change it? Banshees? Yeah, I know Banshees, but Banshees is different. Banshees is a spell shield, yeah, but can you QSS Nocturnal? I feel like there was a time where you could. I don't know if you still can then. I'm pretty sure you can. They can get an easy Drake if they want, but Drake's kind of useless. They just need to make sure they don't get engaged on if they're doing this. T1 will know they're on Drake. When I say QSS Nocturnal, I mean remove the fucking darkness that's all that i'm talking about because then he can like qss tp is what i'm talking about you can't obviously stop the nocturne from dashing but you can remove the darkness carry no flash but they got doran's tp genji are fine with the game being like this as well though genji is such a risk averse macro team like they will always just wait for perfect opportunities but i do think they need to start and turn soon there is a window to punish this lulu now they have to fall soon man they have to Oh, close. Once again, Delight moving real fast. There's the Ornhorn. Oh, oh nice stopwatch. He stopwatched the ult flash from Orn. Can he live? Cleanse the ult. Cleanse the fear. Oh my god. Pays, 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 pays. GG. From Pace. Gen G was ready. He stopped watched they ult flash from Zeus. That was coming. so insane. Oh, they needed again. Oh, it's a game five. It's a game five. Look at this Pace stopwatch. Look at this ult flash from Orn. He pulls back and flash ults to make it hard for Jinx to react, but Jinx reacts, baby. Actually, pre stopwatch the Nocturnal. I think he maybe just stopped watching the Nocturnal. But still, it stopped that Orn flash knock, which was insane. Okay, Genji should just be able to end this now pretty easy. Mid to bot, bot tier 2 should be easy. Move into Chobi's lane. They can even look to kind of threaten dives with Lissandra E. Chobi's basing. Is he TPing back bot? I fucking hope he is. But that means there's no Baron buff, so they're going to clear out this tiny bit. No, no. Okay, good. Whoa, they're going on Jinx, but Jinx still has flash. There's a TP behind. They will get the Jinx. It's Guma. It's Guma. Can Guma win the game? Don't go too deep, Faker. Baron Power play I was talking about. It's 
not going to crest the 2,000 gold mark. Doran nice is going to get taken out. They're trying to just stop this. Can they get this fucking Gregor? With a claw will create enough distance, but I don't know whether yeah, they're they escaping this one. Another charm from Faker, and Doran will be taken down from that. And T1, I T1 look, held. I'm sorry, I'm not going to say it again. Not going to say it again. T1 um, held. Yeah, look God, in, that look kill from Odor uh, and from Zeus and Faker was everything. TP behind was clean. Yeah, no flash on Jinx now. Or oh, if Jinx think, dies, they uh, fall apart, don't they? Like, and Faker. This teleport isn't spotted because of the Nocturne Ultimate, right? So they don't know that Zeus is there. And I want to draw your attention. Jinx to has the flash. Because yes, really? Zeus oh yeah, she does have flash. What the fuck? Oh, you're right. She just got one shot. I thought she flashed there. And yeah, she does have. Oh, she has cleanse too. Objective bounty. They're on soul points. Uh, Jinx still has some. Then I think this Jinx needs GA. They were shrillizing mid. We have 20 seconds of Baron. They want to play on one wave or what? They don't have their solo lanes though. But T1 is down on tempo. Their tempo is like really shit. Oh, they're a bit scared. Where can Faker TP? Where can Faker TP? Outside River looks juicy. I think they need to back off Genji. Oh, Faker could TP behind. Oh, boy. That Doran ult. That Doran ult just saved them. T1 are playing so slow. Oh, they're blocking. Oh, he plays with the charm. Oh, the light. The turn! Oh my every lord, the light on the turn. Just destroy them. That is gonna be game five. That's a clean ace! This series is too much, boys! Oh, that turn. That turn was crazy by Delight and Peanut. Game 5, Silver Scrapes. Now we're talking. When it's LCK and LPL, we're going to get better series. Genji's awake, man. It's about fucking time they woke up. Oh, T1 ban Vi Wukong. They really think Wukong is a problem. Wait, this changes Maokai ban on blue side? That means what? they want to first pick Kasante. What? They want to change everything and go Kasante first pick. Does Genji ban it? Does Genji ban Kasante? No, they don't. Okay, if you first pick Jinx or Kasante, you don't give Kasante. What the fuck? They changed it all up for Kasante. I'm surprised yeah, they're doing that. Gen G, just go Jinx, I guess. I actually think Aphelios is better here, but they will go Jinx. Like AD Gregas, uh, they're doing it. Yes, I think Aphelios is better. This Aphelios pick means they're playing engage support. You can't do Jinx on 1-2 here, I think. I think this is correct. Oh, Peter Diddley game 5! They deny the poppy. I like that. Owner, is it Nidalee time? I think it's Sejuani time, buddy. Yeah, this is why you can't pick Jinx. They're gonna go Aphelios Leona. Actually, they should pick Zut. They need to go Leona. They need to go Leona. Or Gregas. Leona, Gregas, Lulu. Oh, I hate the Ari. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I think the Ari can be dropped. I think they should have gone Leona. Shit. Well, they can ban junglers. They should ban Sejuani for sure. If they don't ban Sejuani, they're smoking something. I don't know if that's worth Sejuani, Sejuani Lissandra ban. Sejuani Lissandra ban and T1. I like Leona. Leona. Yeah, Leona Thresh ban. There's no point in putting more bans mid. Like, he, they can flex it. They can flex this Kasante. And I think it's fine. Elise. Elise ban. Lulu ban. I feel like they can just go Leona on four. And then T1 can go Sejuani. Sejuani Jace. Sejuani Silas. Alistar works too. But I would be really scared of Silas if you're doing that. Oh my god. Sejuani Silas, please. Please go Sejuani Silas into Alistar. It's so insane. Why did they go Alistar when Silas is up? What is happening? Rumble? Are we high? Are they double flexing Jace? Uh, Rumble? Rumble? Kasante? And we're not picking Sejuani here. I swear to God, if you pick Viego, we're not picking Sejuani with Rumble or Akan Kasante. Oh, they're going to pick Gragas Jungle to deny it. It's Gragas Jungle to deny Gragas from Doran. That's fine. 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 But can't you just play Orn? Sion? Oh, Gwen is good. I like Gwen. But I don't know if I like Doran, Gwen. Oh, man. These drafts are making me a bit fucking dizzy. All right. I don't get this. I don't know why they didn't go Silas. 
Oh, okay, it's Rumble Jungle. Okay, so we'll it's Rumble Jungle. Rumble Jungle. He's Rumble Jungle. He's playing Rumble Jungle. What? Okay, I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy. I, I don't know what to say. I've never seen Rumble Jungle in this in this year. Rumble Jungle was last year. No, Rumble Jungle was 2021, wasn't it? It was Rumble, we'll Morgana, Hecarim, Woodier. Number five. Our Wasn't that 2021? How the fuck? Yeah, this draft has thrown me off completely. The directions they took are odd. They don't pick Silas and Dallastar. They don't pick Leona. They don't pick Sejuani with four melees, three melees. Okay, let me see what this Rumble's got. Dark Harvest Rumble. By the way, quick reminder before the game starts. After this game ends, it's G2 versus Mad Lions. So MSI is not ending. There's another series after this. It's EU versus EU. Losers out. Just a reminder that MSI is not over after this. There's another best of five. Just in case you're thinking like, I'll watch game five and stop because MSI ends. It doesn't end. Five more hours, baby. I think that might go to five games too. Okay, Rumble starts on uh, Raptor start on Rumble. Both jungler's full clearing. Top will be Gwen favored. Mid will just be push contest. Bot still will get pushed in until Alistar is leveling up because he's useless level one. Uh, I really don't know how team fights are going to go. Rumble ult, Rakan ult. Nice ward here. Vicaria, nice, nice scouting. He knows that Poppy's on Grom. Well, he doesn't know for sure, but he can guess. I like both compositions. Yeah, both junglers uh, trade crabs. Poppy's on a ward with no sweeper. Mid jungle base, same time. You know, it's going to his recamp spawn. Running away from his bot, li bot lane that wants to crash bot way, but it looks like they'll be alright. Okay, delight. Try and find himself a knockup. Does have to flash to get out of the way of the grand entrance there as T1 getting frisky. Now moving down this is it. Peanut's not covering his bot lane to get the wave in again. They get bot wave in. Good. So bot is fine. Rakan can't hold it very well. Alistar just W'd him. How broken is Cassante? Tanks the whole combo. Base TP. Gwen needs a TP back still though. Looks like Gwen got a cheater earlier on. Could he flash? Oh, he was thinking of flashing there. Can they really pressure, kill pressure this Alistar? I don't think so. He tried to W the creep and knock up, but yeah, he didn't get the range. They get bot crab. I think they should fight this here. But Alistar has no flash, so he can't walk up river. Really risky to do that. Asante, so disgusting. The slower pace early game though is gonna help out. Well, nothing's happening. You want our starting Drake? Small CS leads mid bot. This time around, though, Nothing no is really happening. I'm surprised they have this much top push. Is Gregas good into going? I guess he can just blow the wave in her face. Can't really do anything about it. Harold fight T1 should take 100%. Faker needs to reset fast. Zeus needs to reset fast. Peanut's really going to be able to sneak this Harold. That's so bad for T1. Nice knock. He flash? No, he can't. Oh, Ono can kill him here, though. Can Ono kill him? He gets died instead. Okay, T1. Alright, bot lane is opened up. Bot lane is opened up. Gen G get Herald for this. Nice play by the T1 bot lane. Window for Ono to punish. Yeah, Chovy can't ever push mid because Faker's just too tanky. Top is even, and now bot's winning. So T1 should just not... At least pays doesn't go down. You know, huh? All right, we're going real aggressive here as they get the knockup. Bouncy castle. They get the kill. Wow. I thought Owner would flash the combo. He didn't give a fuck or what? Was he silenced? It's a lot of CC, yeah. Okay, not bad. Well, they crack open a kill, but it doesn't do much for the game itself. They just lost both flash flashes. Owner, Owner was overheated in the river. How can they get this Rift Herald in bot? Ari gets her base off. Good. Oh, Ari has Everfrost. Okay, now they need to start playing. I think they can start playing mid to bot really hard now. Recalling on a pink. Area. Uh, Faker's dead, no? Bit of trouble here, but does manage to mitigate some of that CC. Goes all out onto Peanut. Now just Maybe trying not. to fight the Poppy Chovy, though. He's going to make his way through. Faker's still alive. Oh! oh! What? Five. That was sick from Faker. I How the hell? He was going to be able to get out of that one. Still might not as charged. Faker is... Fight. Yeah, Chovy. What? Um, getting... Uh, Getting caught there, but not stepping too far forward. No opportunity for owner. I thought he was 100% really well dead Faker, what there. What a demon. What a fucking demon. What a demon. Well, I'll say he was stone body slam. They're heralding top doo-doo. Did Atlas just Jungle say doo-doo? Okay, Night Harvester versus Sunderer. Let's see how much Doran can do this game. Because last time he played Gwen, didn't like it. His carry champs, like, don't really like them on Doran. He needs Rift Maker, he needs to cook. He's against four melee champs, basically. It's a very LPL thing to want to play Gwen in these kind of games. But the LPL tops are so insane at Gwen. Baker's just getting plates in Chovy's face, like, what? Zeus is cooking. Plating for Carrier. 
Oh shit, he's smiting him. Zeus doesn't have a kill, does he? No kill. Alright, he should have Rift Maker in base, but I don't know if Zeus is going to let him base. Yeah, he is. What a gentleman's agreement. Top lane gentleman agreement. No Rift Maker, just blasting on. Chovy's farming well, just chilling on a tower. Faker the same, less chilling on the tower, more chilling on the Chovy's tower. Kuma has his fucking Kraken Slayer already, though. This should be an easy Drake. They should just start it and take it. I don't know how much this Rumble's going to offer later on, though. Like, it's good now, but I'm a bit worried for what the Rumble will do later. Why aren't they doing Drake? Rumble will be really useful later on. No, it won't. Rumble ju jungle champs always eventually fall off in like in competitive games because unless you're playing a super carry jungler, your team takes your camps. Like your bot lane gets Raptors, your top laner gets Krux or Grump, and your mid laner gets blue, and your AD gets red, and you get wolves maybe if you're lucky. And he's playing Dark Harvest too, and he has how many stacks? So like your gold efficiency falls off a cliff in competitive. So like right now he'll be strong. Maybe one more item he'll still be strong. After that, no chance. So we'll see. Game is really slow though. Yeah, this is slow. Herald fight. Rumble's really strong in this Herald fight. He has his red smite upgraded. We're a TPing in. Oh, he missed Carrier. He missed Carrier. Oh, Goran. Goran is cooking. Watch Zeus. Oh, Pace, nice flash. Chovy got him on the side. Delight's combo got flashed by Zeus. Chovy misses the charm. Faker's on the other side. Doran's chasing him. They have a tower. Wow, a lot of a lot of things were dodged there. A lot of plays there. God, the team fighting is on point, isn't it? The Faker Q3 into the Rumble equalizer to pull Peanut back. He flashes out. Carrier gets rooted on the engage. Gwen damage is high. He has to dash out. Guma pullback gets dodged. Now watch Pace. Flashes the Gragas combo. Chovy goes off to the left. Now to watch the lights. Flash combo gets flashed by Zeus. Crucially, Pace is still zoned away from the fight. Oh, Doran's fucked here. Maybe, maybe he can do something with ult on the owner, but I don't know if he can. Oh, it's on cooldown or what? I think it's spectator bug. Or he just wants to save it. Oh my god, that champ. Oh, Chovy, but he got... Still connects! And Trevi's gonna collect it with the box fire. Just nice kill, big kill. Harold mid is good. Oh, they're ulting the zone. That was a really good ult by owner. Holy shit. That was a really good ult by owner. Can they look for carrier? Nice, fl nice flash by Guma. He has no ulti, would get stunned in the wall and die. Would have been a death. Nice side lane play by Genji. But they obviously are against Harold, so. Uh, even though they do end up getting him, look at how much time he wastes, right? And, and oh, not what a just charm. time, Chovy is forced to invest his flash just to make sure that they actually get the kill. And what a charm. Okay, Drake's up in a minute. Genji need to fight this Drake. Would be ideal to get Chovy's second item right now. But he went alternator fiendish. I think he's trying to go cosmic drive, shadow flame. I think he's going to get an item for that. Baker, no flash. Both supports here to cover. Mad Lions would have lost by now. Shut up. Okay, Chobi base. So alternator fiendish. Bit of a slump in, in item legendary spike, but it's okay. No Navori on Gumayushi. Chobi ideally wants to stay top and push out and get this top tier one and then TP in afterwards. Looks like he's not going to base for items. Doran has a bit of pressure on him. He has no vision. He has one ward, I guess, but he needs to drop this bot tier one. There's going to be a trade of towers, but Chobi's basing. I think Chobi should have stayed for the tower unless it dies to creeps. What does he have in base? What does he have in base, Chobi? Nothing. Something? Anything. Nothing. He actually... Okay, Horizon Focus. I thought he wouldn't go Horizon Focus. I thought he would go like Cosmic Drive, Shadow Flame or something. Horizon Focus is fine. Is that Drake just gone? Wow, they're so late to this. They didn't get top tower and they just lost Drake. Chovy? Got Kuma's ult. Now, does Genji have the balls to force a Baron? Don't think they can. Oh, Faker really likes overextending on side, huh? Chovy no ult, though. Hmm, I feel there's still no IE. They really need IE. T1 want Tavori. Just gonna have to wait for Drake. Rabadon's almost for owner. Yeah, Rumble Death Cap will be a massive spike. I think he might have it soon. I think Guma's very close to item 2. T1 can slow down a little bit for these carries. Faker's job is just to be a fucking full punk. See if Chovy is. Chovy going Banshees? There's no way he's going Banshees, right? Maybe he is. Slow, slow, slow. Genji. Ocean Soul is not that useful. It really isn't that useful. Obviously, you don't want to give it for free. It's probably worth for Genji to trade Nash for Ocean Soul because there's two tier 1s up. It is probably worth, but I don't think T1 will ever let them do that. They're waiting for Pay's Infinity Edge before they do anything. Avoid all fights until Aphelios' second item. His tower was already really low. It's fine. Wow, their gold is dead even. 
It's dead even gold. Like the there it is, well, Aion Aphelios. All right, turret, time to uh, fight. T1 time to fight. To Peanut so, might have dead men. Maybe. I don't know how broke he is. He's basing with two pinks. No, he doesn't. Right and the owner probably has Rabadons now. So, so now everyone's going to say, let's fight. I, owner I, needs I, I, wolves. Probably has Rabadons. Go fight. Guma takes red buff. Everyone is happy. No, owner doesn't have it yet. Sometimes owner doesn't have it yet. Soul in 40. Does owner have it? Does owner have it in base for this soul fight? Owner? Owner's in base. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's got it. All right. They're going to fight the strike 1,000%. 1,000%. They're spiking now really hard. Genji, you're going to have to pull out some fucking outplay in this fight. Or Rumble going to have to miss somehow. Gargoyle for Faker as well on the TV back. Wow. Big spikes now for the T1. T1 can't really threaten the base, but they can threaten Baron. They can threaten Baron. They can definitely threaten Baron. No, no, no. They will get here in time. They're not giving this. At a moment's notice, a faker. Nice charm. Nice error for... Oh, that ult. Even Not the worst. There's no follow-up. Um, Not the worst. Let's count how many are dead. None. Oh. Really now back to Drake. Peanut, back to Drake. Peanut, 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 peanut. What the fuck? We're flashing on Guma. Oh my god. Zeus just solo killed Chovy. Pace is dead. The light, the light, the light, the light. That's it. That's UG. And it starts off with the engage, but it is not enough. That is GG. Zeo solo killed Chovy. Doran got one shot by fucking Guma. T1 is gonna break open the base. And it was so even for so Can they long. End? And now no. T1 are just crushing no. through the base of Gen G. What can one cow do? He needs to buy 10 seconds of time. Can it's they end? Is that it? Is that it? And at 26 one team fight. Almost on the dot. <laughs> T1 will take the Nexus and win a game five for the first time in so long and they will remain in the upper bracket here at MSI. When was the last time T1 game won a game five? five? No, not international, not the KT one, the international. Was it 2017 against RNG? Yeah, it was.